Summer House's Lindsay Hubbard says Paige DeSorbo wound up Sierra Miller to incite the violence that ensued during fight more than meets the eye. Following the explosive fight between Sierra Miller and Danielle Oliveira on Summer House, Lindsay Hubbard sounded off about how Paige DeSorbo didn't help the situation. Biggest reality TV fights ever. From Real Housewives to Jersey Shore. I was pretty surprised to see the way that Paige wound Sierra up to incite the violence that ensued, with, the wine at Andrea, Denver's poor love dinner. I was kind of shocked to see that, Lindsay, 35, exclusively told Us Weekly while promoting season 6 on Tuesday, April 5. The publicist noted that she had a different view of her friendship with Paige, 29, before watching the season play out on screen. I really thought I had a good summer with Paige. I legitimately left the summer, thinking, wow, Paige and I got along more than we have. We laughed and we shared more things with each other. We related on different topics more so than we have in past summers. I was pretty surprised to see the amount of ST talking that she did, Lindsay shared with us. She would say one thing to my face and then the door would close in her room and she would just like say all these nasty things about me. The summer house friendships took a turn during season 6 when Southern Charm's Austin Kroll visited the Hamptons house. After sharing a connection with Sierra, 26, during Winter House, Austin, 34, caused tension between co-stars by kissing Lindsay. In a recent episode of the Bravo hit series, Sierra confronted Lindsay for not considering her feelings, to disastrous results. Summer House, cast dating history, Inside the Star's Love Lives. When Sierra initiated the conversation, it was very clear to me that she wanted to speak and wanted me to listen. I knew that if I said anything, it was gonna be World War III. So, I stayed calm and didn't engage, which I thought quite frankly, was the most mature thing that I could do in that moment considering how angry she seemed to be. Lindsay told us about the heated dinner episode. Once Sierra started crossing the line with the verbal attacks on me, that's when Danielle was like, all right, I'm gonna draw the line. Like, this is enough. After Sierra called out Lindsay, Danielle, 33, defended her friend and got a glass of wine thrown at her. For Lindsay, that reaction from Sierra felt unwarranted. I was just taking it on the chin because I knew that if I engaged it would have exploded. So Danielle decided to step in and it still exploded, she said, noting that she has kept her distance from the nurse after the events of the summer. We could maybe be in the same room together, but it's just not the kind of person I want as a friend. Lindsay continued. The girlfriends that I have in my life, my absolute best friends, they are all very inspiring women who typically are entrepreneurs who have deep connections. And I think that Sierra, being treated, badly, by a guy and blaming it on a girl, that's not the kind of friend that I want. Crossover alert. Reality stars who hooked up with stars from other shows Sierra, for her part, previously addressed how the fight turned physical with Danielle when she initially just wanted to speak with Lindsay. It was a build-up of things. There were a lot of, you know, pent-up emotions that I kind of let go for a long time, the Georgia native told us in January. And honestly, I came into that dinner, very hot. There was a lot of information being thrown around and I definitely reacted. I let my emotions get the best of me and I kind of just, I lost my, cool, to be frank. While reflecting on the drama between her and Sierra over Austin, Lindsay also pointed out that she wasn't aware of her co-star's feelings. I didn't have any intentions of getting back at Sierra. I was not privy to any conversation where she was talking about how much she liked Austin. I was not in those rooms when she was crying about Austin, she explained. Like if a guy is showing you his true colors and showing you that he doesn't want to be in a relationship and that he wants to single, unfortunately, it was through me that Austin was showing that to her, but that should not be blamed on me.